I always struggle with how much do I reveal to the world? How do I become relevant? How do I stay beautiful? I feel like I've been so virally successful, it wasn't enough. I'm so stressed out. I have the world on my shoulders. So many fans. It's the struggle of my amazing, super de duper awesome life. So I made a New Year's resolution to be independent. Everyone's like, Keyonce, when are we going to get another video? Keyonce, when is your next single? Keyonce, why are you so awesome? They keep putting me in these belly shirts and trying to hide my Siamese twin scars. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. People look at me and they see beauty, perfection, fame, undeniable awesomeness. But I'm human. I get nervous sometimes. Well, not really. I'm just trying to make y'all feel better. I'm pretty amazing. Perfection is not given to you. You have to fake it. And that's what life is. Give us a little background and insight on who Keyonce really is. Keyonce is a singer, um, songwriter, dancer, model, Capricorn. Well, am I? No, I'm a Virgo. Oops. <laughs> Truck driver, DVD returner. Food burner, money maker, booty shaker, door knocker, heel walker, showstopper. I do everything. I think the better question would be, what don't you do? I think a few people might also know me as Beyonce, Siamese twin, but just a few people. I think my notoriety lies with my vocal capability. Why didn't we see you in Beyonce's documentary? She doesn't, she doesn't mention anything about a Siamese twin. You know what I mean? I feel like it's something that I wanted to say. I begged her. Act like I don't exist. <laughs> and she does that very well. Why has your identity been hidden for so long now? When too much talent is released at the same time, it could become cataclysmic. It would just explode the universe. <laughs> I think dinosaurs would come back. I think if all that talent just happened like that. I think that people would just spontaneously combust. So I just wanted to prevent that from happening. What, what was it like growing up with a budding superstar? I think you may be asking the wrong sister. I think that's a better question for Beyonce. I can't relate. So did you go to your sister's halftime show? Halftime show? The Super Bowl in, in New Orleans. Super, Super Bowl, Bowl Sunday. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I think I heard about that. Oh, Sunday. Yeah, I don't, I don't usually do too much on Sunday. Um, that's my day of rest. Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, that was on a Sunday. It was on a Sunday. The Super Bowl was. Oh, y'all, that's just the name of it. It's Super Bowl Sunday, as in the day of the week. This is like an extraordinary Sunday in a bowl. Actually, you know what? That particular Sunday. Now that I think about it, First Lady asked me to do a very exclusive very special performance on that Sunday. So I didn't have time. I think I did DVR though. How did she do? She did great. That's good. I did too. So you're pretty close with the first lady? Very close. We eat together, we shop together, we pray together, um, all of the above. Me and first lady are joined at the hip, just like me and B used to be when we were, you know, attached by the skin. So were you at the inauguration? Why would I be there? But you, wait, you just said you were close to the first lady. Yeah, what first lady are you talking about? I'm talking about the first lady of Greater Mount, Zion, Baptist, Episcopal, AME Church. Your, your brother-in-law, Jay-Z, mm -hmm. does he ever give you any advice? Oh yeah, all the time. Um, we have a very special relationship. And this one time I remember he said, Keyonce, that's the dirt off your shoulder. No matter what. And that's something that I, I kept with me. Every time I have a problem, I just do like that. And I don't think anybody else, he would never tell nobody else that. But did you go to the Grammys? I did. Um, me and Beyonce, actually, we're so silly. We're so funny. <laughs> we are so talented. It's so crazy. Me and Beyonce just being super creative. We were like, you know what? You wear the black pantsuit. I'm wearing a white pantsuit. Let's just, let's just cut it down the middle. 
I'm gonna sew your part on my part and you gonna sew your part on yours and we decided to just wear each other's outfits kind of sort of in homage of our Siamese twinhood. So that's that's why she was wearing black and white. Are you going to Kanye and Kim's baby shower? Absolutely. Um, I haven't got an invitation. Word of mouth, we're so close, we don't need invitations. So, you know, they haven't actually invited me, but I'll be there with my, my camera, ready to take pictures of Kim's belly. <laughs> what would you do while Beyonce is on the Mrs. Carter tour? The Mrs. Carter tour. You know what's so crazy? I'm actually um, headlining the Jimmy Carter tour. The Jimmy Carter County tour, to be specific. We'll be traveling all around the county. All around the county. We're gonna be stopping in every little street, every little store, and actually, I'm gonna be singing books to cows, to animals, all animals, not just cows. We don't discriminate. I'm really, really passionate about animal awareness and giving back to the animal community, you know, who have given so much to us. I feel like we don't really give them everything that they've given us. They give us food. They give us clothing, they give us leather. <laughs> they give us so many things and we don't take the time to actually breed and, and nurture our animals. I'm very excited about it. Coming to a farm near you. So that tour is to enlighten and, and uh, uh, give some knowledge to animals, correct? Absolutely. The animals that need to be enlightened with knowledge. And this is President Jimmy Carter? No. Former President Jimmy Carter? Absolutely not. Um, it's just a man named Jimmy Carter. Hey, it's Jade Nova and Keyonce Bowles. <laughs> Make sure you guys go on youtube.com slash Madame Noir and subscribe to their channel. Thank you guys so much for watching.